Today, the House of Ukraine in Babo Park commemorating the war in Ukraine. Close to one year ago, that's when Russia first invaded Ukraine, starting that major war and a huge refugee crisis. And some of those refugees fled here to San Diego. And CBS 8's Dana Marie McNichol is live in Babo Park now sharing details on today's ceremony. Dana Marie. Well, that ceremony actually just wrapped up a couple of minutes ago, and I did learn that the freedom bell that is rung today, that actually made a special journey all the way from Arlington National Cemetery to here in San Diego to salute the Ukrainians as a symbol of unity. Now, for the past year, you just heard them speaking about how they fought for their freedom, and that's why we spoke to the VP of the House of Ukraine here in Balboa Park about the symbolism of today's ceremony. The Freedom Bell, it's the symbol. That's exactly what these, what these people are fighting for. That's exactly what these, the uh, 10,000 people have died for, what the hundreds of thousands of people have been displaced for, where uh, 200,000 children have been taken to Russia. Uh, 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 that's exactly, that's why every community in the United States is working to give humanitarian aid. It's why Poland has taken in millions of refugees. That's why uh, out of a population of 45, Five million, five million people had to leave at the beginning of the war. Now some have come back because it's freedom. They're fighting for freedom. They <laughs> Now you're hearing and listening to one of the few living Congressional Medals of Honor recipients making the first ring on that Freedom Bell this morning. Today the bell rang 365 times, one for each day of the year since Russia's attack. One by one, different San Diego Ukrainians and Ukrainian refugees rang that bell honoring the heroism of those Ukrainian people. According to organizers, this commemoration ceremony is actually the first in the United States because it's being honored a bit early. Ukraine is 10 hours ahead so it isn't quite February 24th yet, which was the day of the invasion. Now today here in Babo Park, it's a much different scene than it was a year ago when the House of Ukraine brought many people together from our San Diego community. They worked tirelessly to send help, supplies and aid to those suffering. So today was all about remembering those affected and continuing to support them moving forward. I'm Dana Marie McNichol coming to you live from Babo Park.